crime mom and hair hey it's susan welcome to today's episode of war crimes unit nice to see you hey don't forget to get a damsel in defense stun gun 7.5 million volts could save your life one day it saved mine you can find it at the i Sue's home shopping mall on facebook Oh my gosh, I was out today in Mexico and you know, I just, I couldn't take it anymore. I mean, I took a shower, I was putting on my makeup, I was getting dressed. I said, I have got to get my hair cut. Oh my God, I was going to die. Oh my God, my hair was so long. It was so disgusting and it was just so just out of control. You know, the last time that I got my hair cut was a couple weeks uh, before I had to make an emergency flight from San Fr um, from Sacramento into Mexico, so that was back in back in February. Can you believe I had not had my hair cut since February? Oh my God! You know, and then when I was up this morning, I'm looking at my hair. I'm going, Oh my God! What would your mother say, Suze? What would Brenda say about your hair if she saw you right now? I mean, okay, today in 2014, she's missing or she's already been murdered. One of the two, I can't, don't have an update, but, um, you know, back in 2004, when she flew out from Corning, New York to Humboldt County, California, so that's Eureka McKinleyville, back in the whole, you know, save Adrian, my son, and, you know, from going to the country of Iran, getting into the hands of his, you know, of a, of a Iranian grandmother that came over on the boat or some kind of crap like that to see the baby, that kind of thing. You know, the first thing I mean here, I'm going through all kinds of stress. My son was a NICU baby. So he was in the NICU for like three months, cardiac arrest, septic shock, you know, coding and dying, coming back to life all the time, you know, and then I got the, I got dad in the crime ring wanting to hightail him and his sister out of the country. And I, I, it only took me forever to get my mom to come out there anyway. And you know, the first thing she damn well said to me when she came out to California, Oh my God, Susan, look at your hair. I'm like, I'm here thinking, dude, I have been through fucking goddamn hell. I have been through living hell, but the only thing that mom, I mean, mom was concerned about the baby, but I mean, she was also concerned about my hair. She was like, Susan, look at you. You look horrible. Look at the clothes you're wearing. Look at your hair. It just looks like shit. So she took me to go get my hair done cotton colored. I mean, it, it was, it was pretty skanky, but, but uh, that's what I was thinking today. I'm like, oh my God, if my mother could see me, she would just kill. <laughs> she'd come and she'd say, Suze, get your ass out of, out of the hotel and go get your haircut today. So it was a great deal. It was only 80 pesos, which is about, mm, oh, maybe like six bucks US dollars, give or, give or take. I mean, I couldn't believe this girl did a great job. I showed her a picture and she just whipped it right together. Today's episode of War Crimes Unit. Keep your stun gun or machine gun handy. There's real criminals and terrorists out there. I'll see you next time.